All right, check this out. So Hyperlite was nice enough to send us a light here. That way we can work all night because they said we weren't getting enough stuff done. So anyways, this is a 150 watt dust of dawn light. And yeah, there's what she looks like. So it's getting dark on us quick out here. So we need to put that thing up there. Okay, so for mounting this, I wouldn't mount it just to OSB. We added this tuba 10 here to mount to that, perks of having the walls unfinished. Uh, you're one too far, move back over one. Yep, right there, you're dead on it. Okay, the center, right about there. From the center to the very top is like 14 inches. Alright, we got this guy temporarily wired up to an extension cord. Put it in. Let's see how bright it is. Holy cow. It's like daylight out here. Now that's a bright sucker. But yeah, like, I don't know how well the camera does adjust this, but I mean, you can see, like, Wait, I mean, this thing is crazy bright, like, I don't even think my light tower was this bright. But, uh, let's see what it looks like from up in the air. In the daylight you can see how we have this mounted basically it just screwed two lag bolts in i definitely wouldn't mount that to just osb because i mean that's you know quite a bit of weight hanging out here but so like i said we put that tube of 10 in here so it's got plenty of meat to grab onto and then here's a good look at the light photo cell up here and yeah and then temporarily we just hooked this up to an extension cord end. Of course, I'm going to leave this end on here. And whenever we close in these eaves here in the next week, I'm going to just put a receptacle up here, plug it right in. Then if I ever have an issue, just unplug it, put a new light up, super simple. And it's got this cool feature. Now, if I can get them loose. To where if you need to service something, in the light it tilts up and then looky there you can get to anything you need to get to inside the light so it's pretty neat even got a little built-in level over here so i'm not gonna lie i'm really impressed i was expecting it to be bright but not not what it was it, they claim it lights up a 40 by 40 area i think that's a little bit of an understatement because the house is 30 feet across and it was shining all the way down in the woods that way and the woods in that side over there. And it shined all the way down to that building. So, I mean, that's a huge area. And, like, all this gravel here, I could stand out here and work all night and see perfectly fine. So, so yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. But if you're looking for one of these, I will have the link in the description along with a discount code. I haven't decided yet. I may put another one of those up in this eave over here and that would light up this whole side. So, I uh, haven't decided yet, but one up there would be sweet. So, and then, of course, I could put up a pole and add another one up there somewhere, and it would light up everything, so. But I really, really, I was only concerned with back here, because that's after dark. That's where I'll be working, so. Pretty much it for that. I think that thing is like 22,000 lumens. Here is their specifications. 
So the one I have right now is the 150 watt, which is the 22,500 lumens. But that one, I think they have a chart somewhere of, cause they have to be so high off the ground for the light to actually be useful. But, and I got all kinds of different stuff. But, um, I'm thinking it's got to be, the 150 watt has to be a minimum of like 15 feet in the air. So mine's about 18, so it's perfect. The 100 watt would be the one, if you're closer to the ground, you'd want. And then they have them all the way up to 300 watt, which I think has to be like 30 feet in the air or something. But, yeah. So, anyways, I'm really impressed with that. Now we can work all night. I'm going to go work on something else. So anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one.